I must take my leave of this city. I am sure the Tremere hold Aneska in their Vienna Chantry. I can no longer continue here while she remains in danger. Ardan was a consummate deceiver. The Tremere have gathered fearsome power in Vienna, and we are not ready for bloody battle with the Usurpers. They invited thee to play a sinister game. They know that one day we will have to attack their Vienna Chantry, and so they desire to force our hand before we are ready. I shall not be tricked. Only after we have gathered the other clans in alliance may we contemplate a strike against them. We will not venture into so palpable a trap. But Aneska will die. Many have died in the Elder Wars, and many more will die ere Gehenna comes. But fewer will die if we bide our time, and heed not the trickery of the Tremere. But I cannot simply abandon Aneska to those fiends? Thou canst, and thou must. Thy claim upon her is born in weak need, mortal sentiment. Release such frailties, and spare thyself further wretchedness. We cut our ties to mortals when first we receive the blessing of Allfather Cain. Thou hast been reborn in blood, cleansed of mortal claims. Thou art exalted. Thou art immortal. Thou art finally free! I thought we Prometheans respect the mortals. For a bumpkin of a holy warrior, thou dost reason like a Greek sage. I, we respect mortal men, but we do not seek kinship with the current breed. For lo these many generations, mortals have been cowed by the cleverness of the Inkanu, their faculties o'erthrown by scheming mages, and their wisdom tainted by demons. The little nobility left in them is tainted by corrupt rulers and priests. The mortals of Carthage were worthy companions. Their base progeny are not worth the spilling of the blood of immortals. Aneska is as noble a woman as any in Carthage. We must rescue her. Brazen brat! Thou hast earned no such right. Even faithful Wilhelm would quake in fear before making such a selfish request. Perhaps, but I make it all the same. Mayhap, in a generation or two, thou shalt be deemed worthy of making such a request. In a generation or two, she will die an old woman, even if she survives the Zemitsi. Then let her die! She chose her path, not thee! She chose to enter the world of vampires. Thou canst not save the foolhardy from their own reckless ways. Remember, like Cain, we are not our brother's keepers. I dragged her down in this vile pit, and I will draw her back again. I forbid it! Tread lightly, lest thou arouse my anger and provoke my powers upon thee. Do as thou must, but I must rescue her. I know not the fate of my soul, only the state of my heart. Very well. I see thy heart is fixed upon this course, and thou wilt not be denied. Go if thou wilt. Shouldst thou survive the Tremere trap, remember well this freedom I have bestowed upon thee. But I shall not attend this fool's errand. Only a Malkavian would follow thee. 
Then call me a moon mad child of Malkav, for I shall go. Will them, thou art true a friend as any in God's kingdom. A true fool. Mayhap I shall yet see this god of whom thou art overmuch fond. Or mayhap we shall tear the foul halls of the Tremere down around their scabrous ears, and bring the black heart of their sire to a Katarina to wear as a charm. Wilhelm, thou art mad! Two Canaanites cannot survive the house to Hexie. Not two, three shall go! Though I have no wish to see the inside of another Tremere chantry, I shall discharge my life boon by accompanying the brave Bruja who pried open the jaws of the Tremere trap and released poor Eric. Where Kristoff goes, Serena goes. Mayhap four shall prevail where one cannot. Mayhap I shall have to replace four Prometheans. Come, we leave for Vienna. This means traveling through the Bohemian forest. It is beset with werewolves, mortal enemies of our kind. Few canines survive the road. There will be no trouble with the moon beasts while I am near. My clan has made peace with these creatures. We will have safe passage through the forest. Very well. Let us leave by the east gate.
Mira welcome in the weapon shop of Richard Van Zvetter. There are no finer weapons in all Vienna than are herein. We seek mended armor. Thou hast an impoverished look and the demeanor of outlanders. Hast thou coin to pay? If such uncharitable suspicion is the custom of the land, I am glad to be an outlander. We are merely weary and dusty from the road. We can pay our way. We can pay in gold or in blood. The choice is thine, Von Sweeter. Uh, yes. How may I be of service? 